All right, guys, how's it going? It is Wednesday, the 26th of August 2020, and you're watching CopTalk.tv. All right, well, this is going to be a quick video, a short video. Now, a short video for me is usually about half an hour long. You know what I'm like, once I start waffling, you can't shut me up. Uh, but this is going to be uh, yeah, probably about two or three minutes long, which, uh, you know, you can draw comparisons from my sex life, really. Uh, it's about the same sort of duration for a good time, if I've got my aspirin. Now, listen. Um, the reason the video is going to be short is because I'm literally shutting down uh, my. I was just. I've been live streaming on here on CopTalk.tv today. Uh, I'm here most weekdays during the day. Come to this YouTube channel and you can join in the chat, etc. Uh, I have mentioned this uh, on there today. I've mentioned it on the members website and I mentioned it on the at CopTalk Twitter account last night. I said, look, you know, listen tomorrow, which means today. I think you're going to see a bit more hysteria about Tiago now. When I say hysteria, I mean hysteria, not just little rumours, bits and pieces here and there. We see that every fucking day, don't we? Uh, so I was just under the impression that we might get to see something today. And I'm in a bit of a rush because I've got appointments and, and things happening, uh, going on and stuff. So I, I can't hang around. And I just thought it was important just to tell you, just to give you a little bit of an advice, just a bit of an heads up. Just keep an eye, particularly on the uh, the Liverpool, I call it the online Liverpool click. That's that little circle of journos that the club breathes from time to time. You know, they're kind of in the pocket. You know, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours, that kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? And they've been very quiet of late, very, very quiet with regards to uh, Thiago especially. Uh, a lot of the stuff we've seen has been coming out of Germany in relation to him. And, um, you know, I received an email yesterday saying, Dunk, tomorrow could be, uh, you know, like an important day in regards to the Thiago thing. And basically the suggestion in there was like, Things are changing a little bit. This person, you know, is known to me. I trust them. But they weren't, like, over, like, you know, like, throwing loads of info. Like, because I was like, well, what, wait, what does that fucking mean? And they're like, no, no just, just tomorrow could be an important day regarding it all. So I'm like, okay, tomorrow we might see some hysteria then. So what I want you to do uh, today, the next 24 hours, is just keep an eye on the journalists that you might normally follow with regards Liverpool Football Club. The journalists, here, not here because I'm in Spain, but in the United Kingdom, our side of things, uh, particularly at the mainstream media. I mean, you know, the Liverpool Echo these days, it's not what it was, is it? You know, they say it's uh, there's no interest at the present time. As I keep telling you, if you follow my podcast, if you follow my uh, my live streams, if you follow my content and just watch the odd video, whatever, you'll know I've been banging on about this for weeks with the continual, you know, the, the, the online click of these journalists keep saying, not at the present time, not at the present time, the present time, the right time, should I say, the right time will be when that valuation comes down. Now, if that valuation comes down... I expect Liverpool to make a move for him. Now, I have no Twitter ITK guy. I'm not a Twitter twat. I'm just a twat, right? So I'm not, like, basing that on, like, oh, yeah, because I know what's going on because I ain't got a fucking clue. I can only go by what people are saying, right? Now, what was I going to say? Fuck, I've thrown myself off there. Throw myself off. I throw myself Yeah, throw yourself off a bridge, you fat cunt. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I've got plenty more fucking... You know, stuff to wind you up with about if you don't like me. Now, listen, um, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? I can't remember. See, now it's going to be a 20-minute long fucking video, and I just wanted to tell you, tell you to watch the click. Tell you, oh, that's what I was going to say. I think you might see a bit of U-turning now. I think you might start to see the suggestions coming out from the click. Ooh, there might be. You know what I'm saying? So the, 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 a lot of these articles keep ending from the online click. They keep ending, uh, it's not not at the present time. There's no interest at the present time. But there might be a future time is what that means. And the, the, when, when is that? When the price is right. That's what I was going to say as well. So yesterday, uh, it came out, there was a suggestion. I can't remember where it came from. The, um, Bayern were looking for £36 million for him. Now, I... I, I if that's been said, that's been said ages ago, but it was thrown out again yesterday. And the suggestion yesterday was, oh, Bayern are willing to come down now. So I thought, oh, that's exciting. But it said £27 million. That's not exciting because what I heard was that Liverpool uh, were being asked for £27.2 million. So coming down two hundred grand is not... In my mind, I'm thinking that can't be right, that can't be right. But the media was saying they've come down from 36 million sterling to 27 million. I, I, that's too much for Liverpool, too much for Liverpool. So, what the fuck am I trying to say? What's the message I'm trying to say here? The message is, yesterday there was a suggestion that the price was coming down, that they were willing to bring the price down. I was given uh, a heads up last night to pay special attention today uh, because Liverpool might ramp things up a little bit, which to me is a bit vague. It's too vague for me. So I met, you know, but that was met with, fuck does that mean? Um, 
So it's all to do with the fee, um, but but specifically, I want you to keep an eye on the on the online Liverpool click. If you don't know what that is, you don't follow me content, dear. Simple as that. And I mean, Melissa Reddy, she said the other day that the deal had nothing to do with finances at all. Nothing. And, uh, see, this is what happened when you let a fucking woman in. Do you know what I mean? Because you know. See what I'm saying, guys. <clears throat> um. <laughs> nothing to do with fights no it's not to do with money at all what happens with Thiago look people keep saying do you think we'll sign him how long has this video been going on for five minutes right too long <coughs> two shags in for that um, do you think we'll sign him and you know I'm quite upbeat about it I think there's a real possibility I don't I just think that it's, it's, what the, it's just it's just common sense to me it's just about money and also the uh, you know the, the Wijnaldum is that, did I pronounce his name right? Uh, that situation, I think, has had a bearing as well. But I just think that, you know, the boss likes him a lot. We know that. We know we know that. But he liked Timo Werner as well, but he didn't come, did he? Because that money wasn't attractive. The deal wasn't attractive. So, yes, he, I think he will come to Liverpool if they bring the price down. And if they bring the price down, the price is right and the time is right. You get it? You got it? Good. At least someone has. Keep an eye on them. Keep an eye on the click today. Just watch the next 24 hours with the journalists that usually write about Liverpool that you follow. I'm not talking about Twitter twats. We're not interested in them fucking idiots. That fuck that right off. Uh, we're interested in people that are maybe a bit more credible. Do you know what I'm saying? And uh, I think I think the vibe I've been given is that you might start to see them you turn in a little bit with suggestions that maybe Liverpool are looking after all because they've been playing it down for ages. They've been playing it down for ages. That's my advice. If it's a shit video, I do apologise. Uh, I can't talk about that. Uh, I wanted to just try, I wanted to get a video out quickly uh, because I did put that tweet out last night saying, look out for the hysteria tomorrow. But I thought that was going to come from Germany, so we'll see. It's just a little bit of, just a bit of friendly advice. All right, yeah. Here's some friendly advice for you. Why don't you fuck right off? Yeah, come on, man. Chill your brow, chill your brow. Right, I'm off ski. I'll see you in a bit, guys. Keep, uh, keep them open today, today. Next 24 hours, you know, give me 24 hours. Let's see if anything, see if we see a different vibe. Is that, still, well, that was the point of the video. See if there's a different vibe coming out. Because they've all been very quiet and I think they're going to start doing this. Just, just, just. Trust me with this. Just say, I might be wrong, but Dunk Knows Best isn't just a fucking slogan, you know. What I'm saying? DKB and all that. All right.